Hey everyone, the most requested workflow that companies come to us with is they usually want to target companies that uh, have recently raised money. And so I'm going to go over a couple of ways to use tools you might have at your disposal in order to get this workflow done. Uh, so the first thing is you when you're looking for companies that raise money, essentially you're looking for account data, not person data. And so uh, not every tool has person data. Sometimes they're just account databases. They're not really person databases. So what I would recommend is anywhere that you find your fundraising information, take that list of domains, bring it into Apollo, and then go to company, and then hit include exclude list of companies and drop your domains into there. It makes it super easy to get this workflow done. So if you want to target the CEOs of the company, you just take the domains of all of the raised companies and then you move it into here. If you want to find the... Um, uh, chief marketing officers or the VPs of sales or anything like this, Apollo makes it super, super easy to do that. Um, you could also use Clay to get this done. Lots of different things, but I already have Apollo um, pulled up. And so we're just going to go over, you know, the different uh, platforms that we usually use in order to find companies that raise money. And so the first one I'll start with is just Owler. Uh, they make it really simple to find companies that raise money. You can go here for your filters and then you can turn on all of your filters and then you can figure out the last fundraising round. Like if we wanted a series B company and we wanted it to be in the last 30 days, we'd be able to do that. And then we can hit save. And then it's going to generate for us a list of companies that. Let's see, once it loads, it's going to generate a list of companies that have raised money in the last 30 days whenever this loads. Uh, Harmonic is another platform that you could do this on. I guess I just have to sign in real quick. And so Harmonic can get you this data as well. You would just go to the custom filters, hit add filter, hit financing, and then you can hit last funding type. And we can say series B, just the same. And then we would say last funding date, and we can just pull off, you know, oh, well, we did the other one in the last 30 days. Let's do it right here. Great. And so you will see disparities between platforms, which is why you always want to use multiple data providers. Series B, 10, 16, 2023. One result. Oh, yeah. In the past month. Yeah, that's probably true. No companies found. All right. So we're going to open this up as well. We'll say like the last year. So let's do the same thing over here. And we can do like... Uh, 2022 November hit this and then we can see our results. So we have 47 results that of companies that raised a series B and then over here we have 1.4 K. Okay. Yeah. Harmonic has really, really great fundraising information. That's why I like to use it. Another one that you can use is Crunchbase and you can see I'm still on a free trial over here because we just don't really use Crunchbase that often to be completely honest, but it, a lot of it still works the same. You'd have your basic info here and then funding last funding type and then we could just put series b and then the same thing funding last funding date a year ago they normalized the thing there 1471 so let's see 47 in Euler, 1400 on harmonic crunchbase is 1400 as well it looks like harmonic and crunchbase are doing really really well with that you could also use apollo as well when you're doing this, so you could hit funding and then you can put uh, last funding date and amount. So you can't really, uh, well, no, you can do series B. So it would be like series B and then last funding date. Let's put it a year ago. And then to today. And then we won't put anything in for the amount. So then these were all people. Let's go to companies. So then Apollo has 884 companies that raised the Series B October 16th to today. And so basically now, whenever you want to target these companies, what we would just do is we would just, on a regularly occurring basis, we would just pull the websites from here in Harmonic and then plug them into your Apollo workflow over here. Or you could use Clay when you're, building this list as well. And then you could set it up, whoops, where you would take a CSV import, 
and you would upload the CSV. And then I'm just going to start from a blank table. And then once you use the CSV import, you could have like the website column here, right? And so we can just put, no, we don't want that. We can just put a URL and then we can just put like website. And we could just, you know, put salesforce.com. And then you can have an automation for find contacts at company, map in the website, look for vice president of sales. And then you'd be able to run this and now you'd be able to get your entire workflow going on clay.com with, with finding all of these people. And so this, I guess would just conclude like the really easy uh, way of getting this done. I do want to show a complete workflow so that you could get this completely done automatically for yourself. Uh, but at this point you can, you know, bounce if this was enough for you. But now I'm going to go deeper into how we would actually use Clay and a data source like Harmonic of how we would actually set all of this up. And that's going to be in the next video.